With Excel 2007, you can create professional-looking charts faster and easier. Charts make it easy to compare and analyze data by presenting it in a visual way. This one shows how employee sales figures compare to each other for each month, how employees stack up against each other, and how each employee ranks overall for the quarter. Creating a chart starts with data. Here you can see data for the cases of Northwind Traders T that six salespeople sold in three months. To insert a chart, first select the data you want to chart, and then click the Insert tab and the Charts group, and you see the wide range of charts available. For this data, you want a chart that shows how each salesperson compares to the others. A clustered column chart will do the job. Excel automatically generates the chart from the data you selected and places it in the worksheet. Data for each salesperson appears in three separate columns, one for each month. On the left side of the chart, Excel created a scale to help you translate the column heights into numbers. That's the vertical axis, also known as the value or Y axis. Across the bottom of the chart is the horizontal axis, also known as the category or X axis. And the legend on the right shows which colors represent each month. This chart clearly shows you how the salespeople stack up against each other month by month. See, Alan Adams sold the most tea in March and Rich Haddock sold the least in January. You can customize the chart using chart tools. The design, layout, and format tabs include all the commands you need to work with charts. Chart tools appear only when a chart is selected. When you click away from a chart, they disappear. Select the chart again, and they reappear. Use the chart tools to tweak the chart layout until it shows you what you want. In the Chart Layouts group on the Design tab, you can choose from predefined layouts that include all the design elements for charts, such as titles. Choose this layout, and voila! Excel adds a title placeholder to the top of the chart and moves the month legend to the bottom of the chart all in one click. Now, easily replace the placeholder text with the real title by selecting the text and typing. If you really need finer control over titles or other parts of the chart, the Layout tab has a wide variety of options. For example, you could change the title position or the legend position. This chart layout looks good the way it is, so let's move on to changing the chart color scheme. Save time formatting your chart by choosing a chart style on the Design tab. If you want to see more styles, just click More and choose the style that's pleasing to your audience and that helps convey your message. Moving on, check out the Format tab now. The Format tab contains, you guessed it, formatting options. Previously, all the design changes applied to the entire chart. With the Format tab, you can format individual elements in your chart. And using the drop-down galleries like this one for text fill, you can preview formatting options directly in the Excel chart without clicking anything. Just pause the pointer over an option and the chart reflects that formatting. You only need to click when you're absolutely sure which option you want. That way you don't waste time undoing or reapplying different formatting choices. This chart looks good, but a different chart type might make it easier to compare information. Take a closer look at the chart types. This time, try the stacked column chart type. Now, each employee's sales are condensed into one column divided by month. This makes it easier to compare performance month to month and to quickly see who sold the most T overall for the quarter. You can even pause the pointer over a section of a column to see the actual numbers for that month. Now that you're done with your chart, you can save it as a chart template using Save as Template. That way you can use the same chart design over and over. Just go to the chart gallery and click the templates category. See, there's the template. You can even use this template in other Office programs such as Word 2007.
Here it is in the Word chart gallery. So, as you can see, in just a few minutes, you can turn raw data into an attractive chart. And this chart conveys much more than numbers can alone. Try charting in Excel 2007 and take your data to the next level.